Hi, I'm Rob Wallace, owner of Hudson Music, and I had the distinct privilege and honor of working with Neil for over 35 years. One of the things that remains most with me about Neil was his integrity, and he applied it to every aspect of his life. He loved an adventure, and that was the reason why we filmed his last project in Death Valley. He was very funny, witty, and really enjoyed a good joke. He laughed loud and hard. He had a tough time saying no to people when he was asked for things. And he had an amazing old school work ethic. And for the first 20 years that we corresponded, it was all done by mail. His passing leaves a huge hole for all of us, but he has left behind an incredible legacy. Neil, can you discuss consistency and how you developed the ability to hit so consistent over the years? No. <laughs> Perfect. Next one. Oh, <laughs> uh, just one more thing. <clears throat> Which kind of KFC do you like, regular or crunchy? Uh, Neil, can you describe what you like to hear in your mix and how you like the interrelationship between the band and yourself in your internal mix? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a dream interview. <laughs> Don't ask me any more questions till we're really doing it. No, I, I know, but are you... I'm you, wasting all this information. I thought we were recording already. <laughs> I need some popsicle sticks. <laughs> I can't ever do a second takes, you know. That's okay. If I don't get it right the first time, it's, I'm lost. <laughs> Catch my breath. Don't want to be out of breath. This no. penguin's driving along in his car. His car's not running right. Stop me if you heard this one. Cut! <laughs> I want to say cut. Subdivisions, of course, is enormously um, complex in its dynamics as well as the, the rhythmic structure of it. So it was a problem to get that extra lift at the end. And one thing I always have loved is the upbeat ride on China. And the China symbol is so dry and tight that it, it's, um, it's quite percussive, you know, even on its own. And, and using, again, this is another case where I'm using the two rides, not because the in-between note is important. It's only important how it affects that upbeat China. So uh, I weave those in there, and then again, I've got to build up excitement. Where, where can I go? In the, um, the part where you were talking about the quarter note hi hat feel, yeah, yeah, well, that, I'm because I'm doing all, all the little syncopations on uh, two bass drums. There. I'm just keeping the quarter notes going out over on the X hat, right? And um, yeah, and then between there, doodle doo, doodle doo, doodle doo, doo, and then um, splash, doodle doo, blop, right, 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 right. In, in between the two. That's foreshadowed once <laughs> quietly, and then at the end of that crescendo, it comes up, doodle doo, doodle doo, yeah. Blah. And so, my journey continues. 
The road ahead is always more interesting than the road behind, but a glance in the rearview mirror once in a while is a good thing too. As you set off on your own journey, the important thing is to carry the things you need. That gas can on the back of my motorcycle is there in case I need it, like the tools, first aid, and communication equipment I carry. And the same is true of so many drumming techniques I have worked on over the years. You can't know too much, you can't be too well prepared, you can't practice too much, and you can't try too hard. One satisfying thing I have noticed from reviewing my performances in this show is that now, one year later, and an unbelievable 68 shows later, I hear certain songs and think, I play that better now. And since that time, my solo has evolved out of all recognition, in all of the directions that were only my ambitions at that time. Those are good things to be able to say, of course. The values I discuss in this program, control, technique, power, excitement, and responsiveness to the music, continue to be refined, and my more recent goal of being more improvisational also grows and inspires me profoundly. I hope there will never come a day when I stop improving, on the drums, on the motorcycle, in my daily life. I hope there will never come a day when I stop being inspired by a song or a story, a landscape, a highway, or a lingering desert sunset.